6, I'm Abigail Blackrick. Today on Mackinac Island, where horses have been quite the facet for a very long time since cars aren't welcome on the island, I'm here with Mark Kukul. Mark, tell me a little bit about when the horses come to the island each season. Um, I believe they come in around May. They start bringing the horses in, get them acculated uh, for the season, and get them in shape for the tourists to come in and, and uh, ride on the horses. So the horses, despite the fact that cars aren't allowed on the island, aren't a year-round thing. They go away during the winter and are housed elsewhere? That's correct. Yep. They are housed uh, in, in northern Michigan there, in the northern UP, um, in a big pasture. They take them off and I believe uh, about 12 horses are um, stay here all winter long. So how many horses are on the island in total, usually at the height of the season? In their full capacity, I believe there are around 500, along with the residential horses that are here as well. Terrific. And so you guys come here every year for the past 10 years you've been here. And so what would you say your experience with coming here has been? Uh, we have great, great experience. Uh, the island brings us in uh, for the Grand Parade on uh, Sunday for the Lilac Festival. Uh, we enjoy coming here with our halflingers and uh, showing them off to, to the people here on the island. And uh, just, just a great time, great family event. Yeah, absolutely. And so when the horses get here, what's their unit of transportation? Uh, they ride actually all over on the barge. Um, they ship them across, just like you or I would, would come over. Uh, they On the b bottom uh, basement, you might call it, of, of the barge, and uh, they're tied up down there and shipped across and then walked all the way up to the barns where they, where they live all year. Wow, so are all of the horses that are here stored in the same location? Uh, there's, there's different barns all over the island here that uh, they keep the horses at. Terrific. And so where all can horses be found on the island? If somebody were visiting and they wanted to see the horses, where are the more common places that they're found? I believe the bulk of the horses are uh, at the carriage tour barns, which is uh, up north of the, uh, the Grand Hotel. There are three big, large barns up there that uh, the horses stay at. Great. And so being on Mackinac Island, obviously, people will see tons of horses, and being that that's not something that is typical, I can imagine many people would want to pet the horses, interact with them, and um, come up and see them. So what would you say, as somebody who's driving them, are the tips that you would have for those people who might want to touch the horses um, in general? Uh, just the tips I would say, uh, ask the driver of the horses, um, if it's, if it's allowed or if they uh, think the horses would be able to be pet. Um, they are work animals, so they, they do have a job, and that's their job is to haul people. Um, so just to be safe, ask the driver if it's allowed to, to pet the horses and just so they can assure you the safest way to do so. Absolutely. And so from your experience with bringing the horses year after year, would you say that the horses seem pretty happy being on the island? Actually, they do. There's a lot of different looks they see here on the island that they don't get uh, back home. We try to get them in shape um, coming here before we get here, but there's a lot of more bicycles that uh, they see here, a lot more, lot more horses than they're used to seeing at home. We can, get used, we can get them used to the vehicles and cars and different sites, but there's a lot of more public and, uh, like I say, bicycles and other horses they have to endure here that uh, they have to get used to. It, yeah, they, they thoroughly enjoy it, I believe. Absolutely, it seems like they do. So this is a little bit more of a gruesome question, but when you're riding your bike around Mackinac Island, you'll see a little something on the road every now and then, and it's horse manure. What typically happens, obviously, um, it's not something that they want on the streets, but it's bound to happen, being that that's the main port of transportation. What happens with that? Um, there are people that come through um, quite regularly, and maybe we'll see some on the route here, that uh, the manure is picked up. Um, and actually uh, put into bins. And most of it, I believe, is composted here on the island. And also, um, I, once a day, they come through with big street sweepers and sweep, sweep the, uh, and wash the roads as well. Anything else, Mark, that you'd like people to know about the horses of Mackinac Island? No, it's uh, been a great experience for us. We've been coming here for about 10 years with, with different horses, and uh, we thoroughly enjoy the trip here, enjoy the time here. We thank the island for having us, and um, anybody that wants to see a bunch of good horses and endure the horse nature here,
Come on up and see the island. Great. Thank you, Mark. Thank you. On Mackinac Island, I'm Abigail Blackrick with My News 26.